Good morning. You're listening to the Mutual Audio Network. What I get from the Reichman counter. Oh boy, popcorn and hot dogs. And ice cream. And oh boy, sparkling ice cold Coca Cola. Oh boy, that tastes good. Have you been to the refreshment counter? Remember, your favorite snack will taste especially good with world famous ice cold Coca Cola. Mutual Audio News, brought to you by Mutual Roll Candy. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, chocolatey, Mutual Roll Candy, they wink your eyes, say it's great, the best tasting candy you ever ate, let's give, give a, a cheer. cheer, hip hip hooray, we eat Mutual Roll every day, delicious. This is your newsreel for Monday matinee, February 24th. And we begin our matinee with the continuation of season 11 of the Sonic Society. In episode 443, Jack and David are proud to present the phenomenal 40th anniversary love letter to War of the Worlds, written and produced by the brilliantly inventive Steve Bellinger originally broadcast on American Public Radio in 1978. Next on our lineup is another offering from Crazy Dog Audio, The Last Harbinger, Part 5 of 5. In the final chapter of writer-producer-director Roger Gregg's tale, since no other descriptions were given for this series, all I can do is ask, will the people of Moloch somehow save their world from self-destruction? Tune in and find out. And we bring our Monday matinee to a close with the next number in the Table Round series, an ongoing full cast audio drama of the legends of King Arthur and his knights, created and produced by Morgan Z. Sowell. Unfortunately, Mr. Sowell failed to provide creative descriptors for these episodes, so all I have is the title. Don't miss episode 16. Sir Tristan battles the Morholtz. This is Federal Stone Cipher speaking, and that's the news for Monday Matinee, brought to you by Mutual Roll Candy. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, chocolatey Mutual Roll Candy, they let's give it a cheer, hip hip hooray, we eat Mutual Roll every day, delicious. And now, on with the show. <laughs> 